One of the things that PVPers typically complain about are balance issues. And I haven't really discussed much about New World and balance issue, and there are many. There are some weapons that are just way more viable than others. Like, for example, the Rapier. The Rapier has one of the best kits in the entire game. Now, people typically complain about the hatchet, and the hatchet currently is bugged. Or you'll hear people complain about the great axe because of the because the great axe is <laughs> because the great axe is bugged as well. And of course, and it's primarily because of the high mobility of the great axe or of the healing from the hatchet and the ability to not interrupt the hatchet. But there are other much more broken uh, weapons in the game, like for example, the life staff. And this is a good example of not just a broken life staff, but when you start to pair it with things like heavy armor and, of course, some of the broken perks. We're not quite sure which perks work, but as you can see looking in this video, you can see this is like one, this is like a one, two, three, four, five, six, at least six people. And there's one person here in heavy armor with a life staff. Person doesn't even switch weapons, they just stay on their life staff the whole time. And this is basically what that looks like now in New World. And of course, when people realize, well, maybe this needs to be nerfed, some of these perks need to be addressed, and then as a result, the PvE community will just, oh, you're nerfing healing, you know, you're attacking us, no, don't nerf my PvE for your PvP, etc. And this will be the state of the game moving forward, because the PvE can be difficult, especially there's a lot of one-shots, etc. And there's not a lot of self-sufficiency from within the classes themselves, really, the, I think the only real good healing is from the hatchet you gain a you gain like a little hot over time and it's not even that long of a cooldown and so for a lot of players they realize oh the healing is op so they maybe they'll run the hatchet on the back bar and most pvpers they'll try that for a little bit and then you know you're not going to be respected in the pvp community for obvious reasons so people will move away from broken broken lifestyle but this is what you do my favorite part is when if you actually read the thread if you actually read this thread, there's this one person right here, which is funny, makes this whole talk about how, you know, the re, excuse me, it was this person right here, that the person goes down to 50% and you guys need to learn to play issues because you didn't knock him out of his healing circle. If you actually watch the video, you'll actually watch the player walk out of his healing circle on his own. As you can see right now, he is not in his healing circle for quite for a couple of seconds there and then he walked right back in and then he walked right back out and he does this for quite some time and it's funny because when you when you if you actually watch the video you'll see that even if they were to have now you see as you can see he's not in his healing circle he got knocked down right there he got to about three quarters maybe hp but people will sit here and nod and say this is fine well maybe it needs a little bit of tweaking here and this is just terrible to see i mean there's so many of bugs in this game that it's even hard to decipher where you can talk about balancing you know it's one of the reasons why you see so many builds that go rapier at least for the solo players in open world you'll see a lot of people in a lot of builds that focus on rapier and either ice gauntlet or rapier and staff and it's because and it's because the of the amount of mobility and damage if you just actually look at the damage numbers between uh, like the AOE abilities like Burnout or, or Fliché, you look at the abilities that have the, that are typically AOE abilities, they deal more damage than the abilities that are single target and have shorter cooldowns. It makes absolutely no sense. And so if you're a Great X user and you're using something like Gravity Well because you've got this really high mobile opponent that you're fighting, well, your Gravity Well is like on a 30 second cooldown. But the high mobilities that negate gravity well are on like half of the CD. Makes absolutely no sense. But we can't even begin to start addressing some of these issues until you start addressing broken life stuff. Now, of course, people will say he didn't deal no damage. This is a non-factor. You could have just ignored him. It's hard to ignore somebody when the name of the game is capped point. <laughs> and so if you have people that can stand on the point that you can't kill well then you also can't cap the point <laughs> so it's like to sit here and to make the argument that it's quite okay that he doesn't do anything that he's a non-factor in 
PvP, in a deathmatch, he would be. If the, if the name of the game was deathmatch, then he would be completely useless. But since in any instance what capture the flag or, you know, whether you're actually running with the flag or you're holding a point, well, then this place down becomes relevant. And as you can see, even without him healing himself, they, they still can't kill him. And this is how broken New World, just a little smidget of some of the, the brokenness of New World when it comes to things like healing, broken healing, heavy armor. I feel like this is like ESO all over again, where you're playing these people with heavy armor and the ability to heal themselves for some reason the healing circle is super cheap doesn't have a cast time which is one of the problems with the ability but then if you put a cast time and if you increase the healing the pve healers are just going to complain and this is why at the end of the day you don't mix what is hardcore pvp which is what you're which is what you're watching which is what new world should have been with pve and then drag in a bunch of casuals because all they're gonna do i'm gonna pause this I'll look, i'm gonna pause this here for a second is see the tears from the pve healers he says i understand that healers there may be a problem in pvp due to being impossible and hard to kill however removing the aoe heal life tank from the heal made my life as a healer so requesting and this is what you get this is what you get. You get people that come onto the forums with their small little violins and their small peepees talking about, I'm a support class and I can't solo the game. So there's, you need to fix that. <laughs> it's just like, that's not your purpose. That's not, that's not what you're meant for. You're meant to support a group. And so people will say, oh, well, go find a group. And oh, you're forcing me into a place that I don't want to play. And this is what you get. You get a bunch of people that are going to whine unrealistically on the forums way to make the life staff he's like way to make life healer worse than it already was and i'm i'm just waiting for a politician to walk out and be like we need to do something about this and this is where the game i mean forget about the auction house is <laughs> disabled forget about the the broken great staff the broken hatchet the broken healing the broken heavy armor like the broken rapier like there's so many things about this game i mean forget about the dying the 900 players to 130 k to 130 players 130k players in one month and people are like well this is normal this is normal for an mmo and maybe that's the problem is that is the normalizing of games coming out broken and people actually paying the full box price for these things well it was only 40 bucks my favorite is the argument that well you got you know 200 hours you got 300 hours like, yeah motherfucker i spent 300 hours grinding the same mob skinning the same wolf killing the same doing the same fetch quest over and over and over again to level like the concept of well you got x amount of hours so you got your money's business like no motherfucker that shit was boring as fuck i sat here and fought the same mobs that i saw on the beach at level one i saw at level 55 right up in the north it makes absolutely no sense. It's not just the quantity of hours spent. It's the quality of the hours. What did you get? Did you get a game that you just had to freaking kill the same shit over and over and over and over again? The same mobs that you saw? The broken, no one wanting the flag in a PvP game. People pretending. And then, and then Outpost Rush basically not working for what, two weeks? The whole server going down items for a game are not in the game in terms of crafting and people want to sit here and be like ah, you got 200 hours you got 300 hours it's like bro you did you literally just sat there and skinned the same wolves over and over and over again to get the 200 you sat there and mined the same ore that's not that's not gaming that's not gaming if that's enjoyable to you hey fantastic for you then you want to do all that monotonous shit and you consider that money well spent? Some of us don't. Some of us want to have a little bit more fun doing PvP in a PvP MMO. Unfortunately, we're not able to do that. <laughs> and this dude's like, clip this shit. It's like, clip this shit is broken. Like, this shit is broken and unbalanced. And PvP, PvEers would be like, this is fine. This is fine. This is balanced, right? Let him play the way he wants. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. I'll leave the link to this video for those who want to watch the rest of it. It's just hilarious reading some of these threads from PvE players. And they're just like, this is fine. The game is on fire. But this is fine.
anyway thanks for watching and i'll check you out next time